Okay, so you'll notice that uh, the printhead is standing still and uh, if I go up here you'll notice the print isn't finished. I've had a uh, power cut probably uh, seven or eight hours from finishing the job. It's been going for 42 hours and uh, what I'm going to do now not by choice but by um, necessity is do a video on how to recover a print that uh, stopped because of something like a power cut which is what obviously happened here. So the first thing that you need to do is figure out how high your print was when it failed. So in simple terms you're gonna stick a ruler next to it and measure its height which apparently is exactly 150 millimeters from the bottom that side is well, that doesn't look like exactly 150 you see And that one is just under 150. What I'm going to show you how to do is how to edit the G-code file, which is what you can see open on the screen here right now, and take out all the code for what's already been printed so that your file will continue to just print from where it left off. Uh, but there are a couple of important things that you need to do before you just go and take out bits and pieces of the file. Um, Alright, so if you look at the file here, you see this was done by Slicer or Slick3R and uh, in my case the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the temperature a little bit higher and I'm going to set it there which you don't need to worry about. Uh, the other thing here is the intro line um, and I'm not sure why it's in here twice. Um, but I'm going to make that one 6 and that one 10 just so as to not fiddle with it too much. Um, what that does is <coughs> uh, slice it on the plate, you know, when it starts printing, uh, it'll home to where it is, and then from there, it'll actually move out and then in. Uh, I don't want it to move out um, I want to stay pretty much in the home position because obviously there's a print on the bed so if it moves it might crash into that, that bed so that that is these two commands here that I've taken out to stop it from doing that now the next one is this one down here uh, which if you look at it is a first reference uh, to the Z or Z or Z or Z or whatever you want. Um, okay, I'm changing that to 155. And the reason for that is the print failed at uh, 150 millimeters more or less. I want to drop the bed down to 155 before it starts printing because that's the other thing if you have your screen there if you have your print bed and you do it camera 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 you have your print bed and you home it drops down to here and then uh what will happen is you tell it right i want you to start printing from 155 it's then going to move up to 155 and start printing but the problem is if it moves up like that it's going to crash into the print job and you don't want that to happen so what you want to do is you want to raise upright and then go down to the print job and start printing so that's what this bit of code here does drops it down to 155 before it starts printing and uh, let me just check everything else uh, everything else is good with the feed right right and there you can see the move start for 
the actual print jobs. So what I'm going to do is control F and Z 150 actually I'm going to make it 149 and then 149.1 next one there we go 149.7 which is the last one before it um, goes to 150 and essentially what I'm going to do now is to go from there now the drop the bit to 155 and start printing back down from there so it's going to drop the bit lower than the, than the print requires and then move into position now the, the, the first time you're going to try this out is probably going to be when a print fails because of a power cut or something so you're probably not going to want to lose it unfortunately it's a bit of a trial by fire but with this you should be all right and it really is quite simple as long as you rem remember the basics um, those two lines up there so it doesn't go moving around um, if your Y is positive there you might, might want to stop that from happening as well make sure you move the print head to above the print job and then take out all the preceding code save it and um, also when you save it take your old G code make a copy of that before you do that and uh, because once you've overwritten it you've overwritten it and you want to keep that original in case you you have a mistake on here the other thing that I do is I actually stick this on another printer and then you can see what I was talking about it's actually dropping the bed down so that it will clear the print job when it starts moving in to, to do the print switch right there because I'm happy with what that's doing so that, that's pretty much what I wanted to do now the g-code goes in the full-size printer okay it's heated it's homed and uh, as you can see now it's dropping down the bolt plate There you go, it's now seven and a half hours later, still printing and <laughs> it's not even close to done yet. So my, my 10 hours from being done estimate is probably a little bit under. But uh, there you go and uh, you know what I'd like to ask is if you find this video helpful, uh, please subscribe to the feed. I'm going to try and keep doing more of these and um, you know, just to try and be helpful. So yeah, uh, like, subscribe, share to other people who might find this useful. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching it.